Good morning, I'm Sean Longoria and here's some of the top stories today on Reading.com. An effort to save what advocates say is a historic building that once housed a brothel in Reading's red light district failed this week after the Reading Area Bus Authority voted to demolish the, the 108 year old Bell Rooms Transient Building. It will be torn down sometime next year. A Reading man is going to have to wait until his wife's murder trial next year before he's sentenced to 18 years in prison on child abuse and other charges. Dalen Reed pleaded guilty to seven charges in connection with the 2014 drug-related death of his five-year-old, five-day-old child. And if you haven't yet, make sure to read the story of Vicki Patterson, the Reading CBS employee who said she was fired after trying to protect, protect a co-worker when she confronted an alleged shoplifter. Patterson has received an outpouring of support on social media and elsewhere, with even some calling for a boycott on the store. Let's turn to the weather now. As you can see, we've got a pretty sizable storm system off the coast, and that may hit the area by tomorrow. Otherwise, you can expect a slightly warmer, though still plenty cool day for the North State. Reading's high should be in the 60s. And at night, expect a cooler and possibly wet night with lows in the 50s in Reading and 40s elsewhere. Looking out through the weekend, uh, again warmer today, but it's going to cool down and we should expect wet weather through the weekend. That's about it for today. Make sure to visit Reading.com for the latest top stories and breaking news. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.